there, I'm John with Board Game Geek, and today we have Justin here from Stoneblade Entertainment, and you're going to be showing us Ringmaster. Yeah. So this is a, a tiny little box. Uh, what's going on? Tiny little box, very cheap price, $9.99 game, coming out uh, in April. Uh, this is uh, my newest design, and it is a uh, super fun, light card game. Mm -hmm. You uh, use as a circus theme, as you might have guessed from the name Ringmaster. Yep. We have uh, our new creative director came in and built these amazing looking cards that kind of evoke old school circus posters. And yeah. We have all the classic tropes from the ringmaster, the clown car, creepy clown juggling knives, you know, the usual. Um, and uh, one is this game was sort of inspired uh, for me. It's actually the simplest game I've ever made for purposes of teaching. The rules are this is it. That's all you get. Um, so you start with a hand of three cards. Yeah. Each turn you must draw a card. You may play a card. And then the cards uh, are uh, what you see here in front of you. So events are one-shot effects. They do what they say. They go to the discard pile. Attractions are cards that stay in front of you, and then they tell you how you win. So, for example, the mm. big top says if you have five or more attractions, you win the game. The clown car counts as two attractions, right? So that's how those, that's where you get victory conditions. Sure. The stars are uh, stay in front of you, and they give you new powers. So this lets you draw extra cards. There's some that let you destroy cards of your opponents. There's some that let you pull cards out of the discard pile. Right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my favorite card type are the sideshows. Sideshows are crazy. You can put them in front of yourself or other players, mm. and they uh, will often have drawbacks. Sometimes they'll have mixed effects, like the knife juggling clown lets you play any number of cards, but you have to discard your hand each turn. So ah. <laughs> there's a risk reward associated it's with it. It's pretty good if you draw a lot of cards. Right, exactly, exactly. So one of the things I try to do was for those of you that um, you know are familiar with the games like Flux, where the rules are so simple and the cards themselves change the rules, it's really uh, you know quite a bit of fun, but the game feels a little bit random, and I wanted something that was like a little bit more depth and a little bit more of the strategy that you can like really like have crazy events going on and play around all kinds of wacky mm -hmm. cards. So, you know, for something that only comes with 34 cards, supports two to four players, plays in 10 minutes, uh, each game is shockingly different because almost every card is a one of with the exception of some of the attractions for victory conditions. Yeah. Um, so so the, each game has a huge amount of variety uh, and it's really gotten a great response. And like, you know, it's something that because we have a little like leather, or, sorry, cloth carry bag, you can just take it with you in your pocket, mm -hmm. take it wherever you go. Uh, it's fun to play with the family, but gamers can like, you know, get into it and get some pretty heated competitions going. I can so. imagine you can pull off some silly combos. Oh yeah, some you, can get, you can get crazy. You can get a knife juggling clown, and then a card that lets you like reshuffle all the hands and draw new hands and play extra stuff and steal things from other players. And it's it's really like uh, quite a bit of fun. And this is actually a game I have been working on for nearly a decade, believe it or not. Wow. Um, and I had the mechanics around for a while, and it, um, but I never quite had the home for everything to fit together. Mm. You know, I actually, um, so I'll do a quick little plug for those of you that are interested in game design. I have a podcast that just released last month called Think Like a Game Designer. I interview top designers from all around the industry. Um, we have Mike Selinker episodes already up, uh, Paul Peterson's in one, uh, James Ernest, Richard Garfield, lots of great uh, people to learn lessons. And one of those lessons is always, you know, write down the work that you do, and you never know when it's going to be useful down the road. So yeah. the, the, the notes that I had taken from years ago, when we finally came up with this circus, circus theme and started piecing things together, all of a sudden everything fit. Oh, that's we were able great. To make this product. So it's really something I, uh, you know, a long time coming in one sense. <laughs> um, but once we had the pieces, it, it came together pretty quickly, and, uh, and I'm super excited to actually have this in people's hands next month. Awesome. That's super soon. Uh, thanks super for coming soon. by, uh, Justin, <laughs> showing us Ringmaster. Yeah.